I got a random Dave unboxing September 4th put in the order dice head games it is now September 21st and we received the package and it's my very first yes sir just a little corner Very first unboxing. Okay. Turn that upside down. There we have the goodies. Invoice sheet. Trade in, trade up, dicehead.com. A little handhold thing. Uh, this is my second one. Got one now. And then, as you can see, we got Command Edition. Got a little crumpled. It's all right. I'm not necessarily a freak over boxes, but I guess some people like them. And these should be paints. Add to my collection the things I bought from the local shop. Oh, that's not local. Um, yeah. Two painting handles. This is what I also got from the local shop. Salt intercessors and paint set. That's kind of what got me started. And uh, these I got at Harbor Freight. Flush cut. They work pretty well for my purposes. But yeah, random assortment. We're going to add a little white scar to our mix to go with our Corax white. Not a fan of that Corax white. Got Rune Lord Brass base. Kind of nice. Kind of goes with uh, Balthazar Gold. A little bit. Got our Necron compound dry. We got a rune fang steel layer. We got warp stone glow. Hoping with uh, previously bought Gauss Blaster Green and the old technical Tesseract Glow, we can get a cool Necron effect. See how that works out. And the silicanum gray contrast paint. Not sure where I'm going to use that, but probably on a Necron. Maybe even a Space Marine. And this is my plastic glue Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. Ordered that on Amazon. Took like a week or so to get get here. All right, we got a Cryptek Armor Shade Gloss. That'll be interesting for our Necrons. Agrax Earth Shade. I don't know why I ordered this because I already had one from my little kit, but now I got a nice big bottle of it. I guess I'll be shading things for a while. We got a uh, layer of Canoptic, Canoptic Alloy. See a little Necron focus here. That's what I'm looking to play is Necrons. And then this is a uh, Lamian Medium. Hoping to use that as a thinning agent. I had been using a uh, Technical Contrast Medium to try to thin down my Corax White. Because that was just so blobby, that Corax White. I don't know, I should probably should have waited or something until I had this Lamian medium. It looks a little more clear than the technical medium. Oh well. It's all learning. Learning this whole thing. And our last paint, another technical. Why did I order that? I'm not sure. 
So there's our little paint set. So let's put those aside. And get into what probably people have seen enough already, but it's my first time. Warhammer 40,000 Command Edition Starter Set. Not a sponsor, Dicehead.com. But they came through. Good price. And then pull that little tab out. Give her an open. And everything's in a tray like format. It's a nice little picture on the back. And when you see that, you know you got work to do. Might be fun, but it's work. So this is all of our cool ass uh, additional stuff, you know. All kinds of terrain bits. Got those pipes, building structures, this little reactor looking thing. Oh boy, I guess I'm in for it. Look at all this stuff. Got bikes here and more stuff. It's all Space Marine stuff right on top here. Cool shield. Base, kind of cool looking. Here we see our first Necron bit. I don't even know what, what that guy is called. But he's pretty cool. More Necron bits. So I can't even make this out. But all Necron bits, Space Marine bits, Necron weapons. Quite an assortment. Some other like looks like scarabs. I know what those are. One of those. I've heard people breaking these up into like groups of three or something like that, depending on the number of wounds they have. I don't know, something like that could be interesting to try. Structures. More structures. Yep, this will be interesting, putting all this together. It's taking me forever to put my Space Marines together and get them painted but it's coming along first marine it's pretty cool first one I ever did like them second one looks like he got blown up I haven't put them together yet but I pretty much am done with the painting so I'm just gonna glue them together and start uh, doing touch-up work on the final product already finished that base and then I got my last one is just in primer mode I was hoping to have everything painted from that little starter paint set kit but not the case this guy hasn't even been anything just primered just kind of slapped sort of together so got hours and hours of hobbying to do which is nice actually before I put that away we'll get this little poster thing it's divider. It's kind of a thick paper stock. It's like paperboard. That mini command manual that people like, rules manual thing. There it is, rules manual. It's hiding in there. Command manual, I'm not sure what that is. Guess it's time for me to order some dice. Here it is, the rules manual. People like that 
size, easy to transport, command manual. Oh, it's got deets on missions. First contact. Saw somebody online doing this one. Um, pretty simple stuff. So, yeah. Oh, you got how to build your Scorpec destroyers. Fuel pipes. Oh, so this is really good. Instructions galore. Salt intercessors. Well, I got experience with those guys. That's for sure. Necron warriors. I'm very stoked to get working on Necrons. That's my uh, choice right now for army I want to play. Necrons. They look so cool because uh, I kind of like that lore behind them. And also, to be honest, that I don't know how well it works out in the game, but they have that. Oh, that's the Overlord that I saw before. Um, those reanimation protocols. I think that's pretty sweet. That kind of a thing to do, reanimation protocols. I don't know how strong it is, but we'll see. Faces. But look at these tiny dice. i show you the only other dice I have. I like these squared ones. I don't like these rounded off edge ones, so I'm going to order a pack of like 50 dice with the kind of squared off edges. I think maybe 16 millimeter or something, 14, 16, 12, I don't know, something. But yeah, at least they give you a little something to start, start your gaming. I can't really do much without uh, having those guys put together, so there you have it. The basics of it. And I guess another thing people like about this command edition is the board is not a piece of paper. Uh, these are fun. These transfers, decals, as we called them growing up. Transfers. Hmm. I guess I'll have to use them. I don't know. Maybe I can freehand these uh, ultramarine symbols or something. I don't know. I don't know if they have the raised section on there, what, like like I was doing for those uh, assault intercessors I had, just painting that raised section. Anyway, got some cool Necron symbols on there, and yeah, great fun, a lot of work I'm sure. Let's just pop that open. Oh, and here's our measuring devices, a ruler of sorts. We got two of these little plastic ruler deals. But I always see people with the tape measure, so I'm probably just going to use my tape measure. And here we have the playing surface. Hopefully you can get that in there. I guess these are where objectives go. A, B, C, D, and E. This is some kind of wasteland. And this looks like another wasteland. The structure kind of motif. And I guess this is the size of a regulation game. I'm not sure. So, yeah, got a lot to learn and figure out. But, you know, first things first, I gotta get everything put together and go from there. So we'll just pack it all up and uh, be making some videos as I go on how to uh, play this, and put this together and then play it. So there you have it, my delivery of the Command Edition, Warhammer 40k, start here, that's what I'm doing. Alright, thanks for watching y'all.